Hey everyone, Mike Sherry here at Sherry Chrysler. Today I get to feature this brand new, this is a 2021 Jeep and it's a brand new product for this year. This is the Grand Cherokee L. So it's an extended wheelbase Grand Cherokee, allows for up to six passengers and this is an all new redesigned vehicle, exterior and interior. And on top of that, this is the top trim level. It's called the Summit Reserve. So if you're looking for a luxury SUV, but want to keep it under six figures, this should definitely be top of your list. And we'll get into all that here today. So starting with the front end here, all new uh, front end for this Grand Cherokee. Doesn't look like any other Grand Cherokees. Uh, has the Jeep signature seven slotted grill still. It looks like almost like a brushed nickel surrounding on it. Black inserts down low here in the lower grille still does have a lot of nice safety features on this. In fact, more than I've ever seen on any other Jeep product. Has your front parking sensors, forward collision warning plus, adaptive cruise control. This also has front camera. And this front camera has a little uh, windshield wiper cleaner on it, which shoots cleaner up on it. Also here it has night vision camera. So as you're driving, it's gonna be able to, to detect the heat from you know people or even animals. So you're gonna be able to see them on the screen inside side before you might possibly have been able to see them before with that night vision. As we work our way around to the side, I want to point out, just take a big overview of the stance of this Grand Cherokee. It really sits well. It's sitting on four airbags. It has the quadrilift airbag suspension on it, so it rides impeccably. It's like you're riding on air and you literally are. 21 inch, these are polished uh, aluminum wheels with paint as well. We come along to the side, we have the Grand Cherokee badging and the United States of American flag. You have some nice accents here around the windows, up top here on the roof rack. Fuel fill here on this driver's side, it's the capless fill, so you don't have to worry about the cap and your, you know, your fingers smelling like gasoline. So we come around the rear, again, some more safety features back here. Of course, you have back up camera, you have the backup sensors in the bumper here. Also has the defrosting rear window with wiper. And then here on this keyless entry, it has remote control power lift gate here. Now, as we get into the back of the Grand Cherokee, you have a decent amount of storage space here and you have a nice hidden cargo space down low here. Has your subwoofer built in, also has power uh, folding down seats here. So the third row will be power down and power up. You can see how you can just fold down once. If you still have a passenger here, you can do that. Or you can fold them both down for that increased cargo space. And then say you need even more, you can power fold down the second row. So the second row is just power fold down and you can get a nice big cargo space in here. Also, you have the button right here to push for the tailgate to go down. You can do it as well on the keyless entry. So with that, that's a little bit about the exterior of this Grand Cherokee Summit. We're gonna now jump into the interior of this Grand Cherokee Summit, which I am super impressed with. It, it, it's beyond belief what Jeep has done here at this price point. So I'm really excited to show this to you. So let's jump inside. All right, we're starting in the back of this Grand Cherokee L because this is what makes it the Grand Cherokee L, these two seats back here. Uh, it's easy access in and out. It's literally one uh, little latch and that second row goes up. And I can get back here as a full size, six foot tall adult. And my knees aren't uh, up against the seat in front of me or anything like that. The interior on this, being a Summit Reserve, has the nicest interior you're gonna find. It's got a premium leather. It's kind of quilted stitched along the trim here. It does have the, uh, the vented ins inserts here. And it, that kind of theme carries on all throughout the rest of the trim in this Grand Cherokee, as we'll see. There is some USB plug-ins back here in the third row. There's also beverage holder on either side. There's heating and air conditioning ducts right here that are adjustable, you can turn them on and off. So that's nice for the people sitting back here. And then 
if you're a parent driving, you want to see what the kids are doing and you don't want to look around because it's dangerous, this has got the fam cam. So building camera up here, we'll check out those camera views when we get up front there, but super nice feature. As well, I want to talk about comfort in the back area here. So this has got four zones of heating and air conditioning. Two zones are reserved for just this back area here. It's an automatic system, where, meaning you can set the temperature, hit auto, and it keeps the vehicle back here at that temperature uh, just like what your home would do. Also in the second row you're going to have heated seats and vented seats just like what we'll find up front there so super comfortable. Has the center console here in the second row too with beverage holders built in. Uh, even has access back here for the third row where they can store their maybe games and such back there. So all around a really cool Grand Cherokee and with that I'm going to jump up front and we're going to show you how luxurious this is for the driver and passenger. All right, come on in. Let's check out the inside of the driver and passenger area in here. Uh, I want to point out this has got the Macintosh. It's a 19 speaker sound system. What's really impressive with the sound system, Brian will get some shots of this, is the not only the sound and the sound deadening that this whole system does to make for a really quiet and enjoyable ride, but also the speaker, uh, the hardware of it inside the door and up here. It's just very classy design for the speaker covers there. Uh, point out the seats you can see them a little bit better up here uh, so you got your perforated inserts right that allows for the vented seat to get some cool air on your touch which feels really good also here notice in the bolsters it's kind of got the quilted leather and then you have your pipe stitching up here it really looks cool well these seats I actually got to get out and I'll show you here it has fully adjustable seat and you're like, yeah, Mike, big deal. Well, this has got some stuff on it that I have never seen before. Watch the bolsters here. It's got adjustable bolsters. I don't know if you can see them kind of going in uh, so they can adjust to your body size uh, and they can go in and out. Also, watch the watch the uh, the seat here. This will extend and retract depending on your leg. So what you get here is a seat that has all the normal functions of a, it's, they call it a 12-way seat. So it's got all, all the normal eight-way functions, four-way uh, lumbar support and top of the adjustable bolsters and adjustable seat bottom here for length. It makes for an amazing seat. And while we're on the seat, I want to mention, so this has got massage seat here. So I push this control over here and what pops up on the screen is the massage function. You can go where it massages your back and it's not a buzz massage like I've seen in other vehicles. This actually feels like someone's kneading in your back and you can adjust the intensity for a really comfortable ride. You know, when you're sitting in a car and your back's in the same position, it can get tight and that, having that massage in addition to the heated seat function and air conditioning seat function makes for a really enjoyable ride. Uh, let's talk about steering wheel controls and cluster now here. So steering wheel is a soft touch leather, a little bit of piano accents, the black piano accents down here. And then at your fingertips, you have a lot of controls here that you can control. The entire cluster here is all digital. Generally, you always get a little bit of analog in there, but this is a 100% digital cluster, and you can change what it shows you here. And a couple of the, the high points I want to point out, it has night vision, which I mentioned earlier. So on this screen here, when you turn it in night vision, it's going to pop up a, a picture of the outside, and if someone would walk across, it's going to be in really bright colors and warn you uh, for at the night. Also, you can pull up your navigation right at this screen here, uh, so you just have it right in front of you. Um, speaking of in front of you, this Jeep has something I've never seen in a Jeep. It has heads up display. So that's hard to catch on the camera, but up here in the windshield, it's got a heads up display that's going to show the speed limit. It's going to show road signs as they appear. Also, I'm going to show uh, what the and what your speed limit should be compared to how fast you are actually going. So hopefully keep you from getting uh, any speed tickets. So back here on the steering wheel also has hands-free connectivity. So you can talk on this car's audio system, which we mentioned earlier, on your cell phone hands-free. This does have adaptive cruise control on this side of the steering wheel in addition to normal cruise control. So the adaptive cruise control is the cruise control that adjusts itself depending on the, sp the speed of the vehicle in front of you. Uh, up here, 
kind of turn this around and see if the camera will catch it. This has the video rear view mirror. So it's a video showing of what's behind the vehicle there. I love that because you don't get any, uh, you know, uh, of the conflict with headrests and people's heads on the standard rear view mirror. Now, if you like the standard rear view mirror, I don't know if you notice, I just push this tab down and it shows just a normal standard rear, rear view mirror. So you have best of both options there. Working our way down through here. So this has lane assist. So when you're driving down the highway, it's gonna keep you in your lane and it works really well. I drove this down the highway the other day and it's not super jerky like some vehicles are. Traction control, your hazard lights, you can turn off those parking sensors and then it also has parking assist where you can turn that on. Uh, coming down here, the all new radio. So this is the Uconnect 5. Big thing about this radio, it's really quick does have navigation and a lot of other features I'll show you here in a second, but also has wireless Bluetooth and Android Auto Apple CarPlay wirelessly. So no longer do you have to plug in your phone for that Android Auto Apple CarPlay to work. You just have to pair Bluetooth and it's automatically gonna work. And the beautiful thing about this car is this tray down here is a wireless charging port. So you literally don't have to carry those wires around anymore in your car, uh, which is super, super handy. So on the home screen here, you're gonna have radio, you're gonna have your navigation, you're gonna have different comfort features up here, time. You can get into media. So media is gonna show you uh, Sirius XM capabilities, AM, FM capabilities, as well as your Bluetooth and USB connected. So next screen is your comfort screen. Like I mentioned earlier, this has four zones of comfort control. You can sync them all together or you can run them independently of one another. The four zones are passenger front, driver front, passenger rear, driver rear. So those are your four zones. All can be controlled up here. All are an automatic system. You can also get into that massage feature. That, now that massage chair is in this driver's seat, but it's also in the passenger seat here. And you can see here, Brian will get a good shot of this, how you can change the intensity from high, medium, low, and also where it's targeting the massage. And then last is your rear controls. This has factory navigation. That's your four selector. And then your fifth selector over here is gonna be your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, where you can pull up real-time navigation from your phone, podcast. Brian's got Spotify on here. You can get your messages from uh, different messaging services out there, voicemails, phone calls, all that's gonna pop right up here. And then lastly, we get into vehicle control system. So this has got the off-road control. Uh, I mentioned this has air ride suspension that can be adjusted and the vehicle automatically adjusts depending on road conditions and speed for optimal performance and you can make, get into manually adjusting it there. Also, you can recline so if no one's sitting in that third row and you like your mirror at a mirror and not the video, you can power fold that third row headrest so you can see out that back window better. We can get into our different camera functions here. And this, this car, I, I feel like it has more cameras than the White House. So you have a top view camera, you have a couple rear view camera angles here, and then you also have front view camera. And then you can get in, I like this front view camera here. So it shows you what's in front. If you're out on the trail or something like that, this is super cool to have. And this is where you can get in that clean camera. You can click that button there and it's going to shoot a little windshield wiper fluid up at that camera to clean it up if it gets a little gunk on it maybe a bug or some mud so that kind of completes this part of the radio here now if you're more of a button and knob person don't worry it's got all that here volume tuning heated seat cooled seats all that heat and air conditioning controls right here so wireless charger down here a couple usb ports a 12 volt power outlet as well and then down here we get into your eight speed transmission controls right here it's very intuitive just a turn control and then you can change your driving condition this is called select track uh, from jeep you can go from rock to sand to snow i personally just leave it on auto and let the technology figure it out the sport but if you want to adjust that you can same with ride height if this be an air suspension you can change the ride height it automatically does that but if you want to change it yourself you can do it right here now this vehicle is equipped with downhill assist. If you are in extreme off-road conditions, it'll go, you click this button here and it'll keep your speed very slow and 
able to be able to maneuver down that high grade. Also, this vehicle is equipped so you can tow on all four wheels. So you can click the transfer case in neutral right here. If you want to tow this behind a motorhome or something like that, you can do that on this vehicle. That's not capable on all vehicles, but Jeep has always been really good at that. A couple beverage holders, soft touch center console here with two compartments. And then we'll kind of end up top here. This has got the panoramic sunroof. So it goes over the driver and passenger and also the second row in this vehicle. So nice natural sunlight you can allow in just for a nice open feel. When I open that up, it just feels like I'm opened out into the world. So that's nice. Also three garage door or gate programmable controls up here. So you don't have to carry around your, your uh, funky uh, controls their remotes for your garage doors so with that we welcome you to come test drive this vehicle what you'll find is this drives as good as and has the amenities more or similar as the, the SUVs out there in the hundred thousand dollar plus range and this being a SUV with a window sticker below 70 grand by Jeep is one awesome, awesome vehicle. So we definitely uh, welcome you to come out and take a look at it, uh, view our photos on our website, and give us a call. One of our professionals will be happy to answer any questions you have. So with that, my name's Mike. Brian's behind the camera. I think his arm's gone numb. This is a long one. So thanks for hanging with us if you made it this far. Take care, everyone.